occupation, destroyed other people's societies, when we don't even have the things that we know we need. We should have free health care. We should have free education. We should have the right to a home, because there's millions of empty homes sitting in this country. Now, we're going to look for the video. I know we're almost done. Yeah, you have 15, 12 minutes. OK, but on. I don't know how to operate this. I don't know how to operate a PC. I'm sorry. Oh. Do you have a question or a comment? Yeah, or do you have a comment? The International Observers pinned a letter to the United Nations unanimously saying that the election last year in Venezuela was fair right. and accurate and verified. And according to Jimmy Carter, they do have the most accurate election system in the world. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for your comment. I think that's important to point out. But again, I always say... This is my technical whiz. Yeah, again, I always say that even if that didn't exist, we don't have a right. And, and unfortunately, we're such a victim of the U.S. media and propaganda, the media which is, you know, conglomerate, smaller and smaller groups of people who own the media. <clears throat> um, we, we fall victim to that. Oh, there it is. great videos. I wanted you to watch them, including the prison. I spent seven hours in four prison units. They used to be dungeons. They used to be really horrible. Torture, killings, lack of health care, even massacres among the inmates. Okay, we got something. No, that's a protest. That's not it. That's a protest in San Francisco. No, no I don't think. Do you know the, the, I think it has the dates. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to plug in your computer or while we talk? Or while yeah, I, I'd rather see if we can have um, any questions, comments. I'd really love if people have doubts like, yeah, but I hear this. Yeah. Anybody want to ask that? Anybody have a question? Yes. In the news, there was really, uh, maybe like a month ago or more, it was said that um, Maduro sent people to um, destroy or burn the uh, relief sent by Red Cross, or one of those humanitarian organizations. I'm not sure if anybody else heard that. Yeah, yeah, uh, very, you know, that's a very good example of the yeah. media lies. Because the humanitarian aid, see the U.S., uh, which has never really helped Puerto Rico after the hurricane, a country that took 11 months to get their electricity restored, a country that's really a colony of the U.S. Um, the U.S. never helped them, but Washington, Trump said, the people of Venezuela are starving, and we're going to bring them aid. It was a show. It was another show. So the U.S. brought, I don't know where my videos are. It's not the one that I thought I had. It's there, but it's not working. It's not working. But anyway, let's just keep talking. The, uh, to, to present this image that the U.S. has to rescue the people with troops, a humanitarian crisis and hunger. Uh, on February 23rd, which was the 30th day of Juan Guaido's declaration as president, the U.S. said we'll bring food. And they took it to the western side of Venezuela, which is the border of Colombia. Colombia is a very right-wing government. They've been working hand-in-hand -hand with the U.S. to try to help overthrow Nicolas Maduro. And so they came to two bridges. I went to those, I went to one of the bridges. I was there on that day. Traveled 25 hours by bus from Caracas with all, hundreds of other people who said, those trucks aren't coming in. Because the Venezuelan people called it a Trojan horse. What's a Trojan horse? What does it mean? What does it symbolize? So the enemy's inside it. Yeah. They're going to come in. Yeah. Take over. The enemies inside, sneaking in. And they said, we don't need that. Well, we have our own food. And on that day, terrorists, which is a big part of U.S. You know, uh, support, these youth gangs, which are financed by the U.S. I mean, there's proof of this, along with Juan Guaido's group. They, they have Molotov cocktails. 
glass bottle, fill it with gasoline, stick a rag in real tight so the gas fumes don't come out, light the rag. When you throw it, it's very destructive. It's like a homemade bomb. And two of the trucks on the border that day were burned to cinders. The U.S., as you said, U.S. and all its allies, Canada, Europe, said, Maduro, what a sick man that he tried to burn the food that we're trying to bring to feed the people. But here's something. This is, it was a show because the U.S. said we're bringing 70 tons of aid in those four trucks. But in that region alone, the government provides 12,000 tons of food on a regular basis. It was show. And what they did in that operation was to tell the soldiers of Venezuela, come to our side. In fact, Trump said on TV, come to our side, defect. And he said, you have one last chance before the 23rd. Because if you don't, you're going to lose everything in your lives. You're going to regret it. He said, yeah. Talk about arrogance of the US. On that day, and a few days later, some 300 soldiers defected out of 300,000. And do you know that they're getting evicted now from Colombia? They walked over to the Colombian side. They were promised by Marco Rubio, the congressperson in Florida, super right wing, super anti-Cuba, anti-Venezuela. I call him Marco Rubio because that's really what he is. He promised them, and who was he, congressman from Florida? He said, we'll give you, we'll you $25,000 each if you defect. These young soldiers walked over. A few days later, they had a press conference at the border and said, we're getting kicked out of the hotel. And they're causing problems because they have no food, they have no money. And so the Colombian government says, we're sending them back. So much for that. It was a show. What is the government doing? Now, it doesn't mean there's not difficulties. We're not painting this beautiful picture of paradise because they've been under the gun. The U.S. has stolen their gold. All the oil, the oil refineries, Citgo properties, the gas stations. In February, the U.S. took property of it. The U.S. stole Venezuela's oil in the United States. Under direction, the Bank of England refuses to give Venezuela its $1.2 billion of gold in that bank. It belongs to Venezuela. The U.S. is stopping countries from buying Venezuela's oil. India said, if the U.S. doesn't buy the oil like it used to, we'll buy the oil. And when I, was, uh, when I returned from Venezuela, India announced, we're not buying the oil anymore because the U.S. is going to sanction us. They're going to punish us. So the U.S. is trying to cut off and strangle Venezuela. The U.S. since last year has blocked all the medical shipments the medicine that the country needs. They blocked it by ordering the banks of the U.S. and other banks, don't accept that transaction because you will be fined by us. Because when Obama was president in 2015, he declared Venezuela to be a national security threat to the United States. False, it's not a threat to the U.S. except a moral threat, a moral example. So when Obama declared a threat, it allowed the U.S. government, this legality, to impose sanctions, which Trump has done ever since. They're blocking, blocking, blocking. Last year, even before the election, before their pretext for doing this, last year the U.S. blocked all the vaccines for the children of the country. They kept three banks from accepting the money that Venezuela paid. And finally, the U Venezuela had to go to the United Nations for them to help bring the, me the medicine. And the kids' vaccinations were delayed by five months, putting them at risk. Insulin, for the 60,000 people who depend on insulin. If you don't have insulin and you need it, you die. You suffer and then you die. The U.S. blocked that. Cancer medicine. You'll see these shows, you know, you'll see these little memes, you'll see these things by the right wing, by the U.S. on Facebook, on Twitter, and, and the U.S. officials are going, the people have no medicine. The hospitals are empty of medicine. But they don't tell you that the U.S. is blocking it. So if you're blocking life-saving medicine, vaccines, cancer medicine, insulin, 
medicine for people with hemophilia can bleed to death if they just hit something. What are you doing? Are you hurting the government or are you trying to kill the people? In United Nations human rights terms, this is called genocide. Killing a people. Targeting a people. I've told you a little bit of what's going on. I was there for a month. I was there for the five days of blackout. When there's no electricity in Venezuela, there's no water because everything runs, the water pumps run by electricity. And it was a very hard time. And it's been proven that it was the US, you know, engineers, cyber war again. Venezuela's gathering up all the evidence. There's been terror attacks on the electricity system again. Uh, terrorists have been firing high-powered bullets. They fired high-powered bullets into the main hydroelectric plant uh, in late March again, and it was another five days of blackout. So this is what I'm saying is watch the news now and read it. Oh, we gave you a sheet. Did everybody get one? This is a media list of the other side from the Venezuelan people themselves, from independent reporters like myself. If you want to watch an amazing video right in the middle, right in the middle, where it says, watch Abby Martin. She's a remarkable journalist. She has a show in the beginning of January when this aggression began. She, she, inter she interviewed a man named Alfredo de Sayas. He works in the United Nations, and he studied the situation in Venezuela, and he came back and said, it's not the government's fault. It's the U.S. sanctions. But his report wasn't accepted by the United Nations because it doesn't fit their narrative. Because the U.S. also dominates in the U.N. Security Council. The General Assembly, the 193 countries, by majority vote, recognizes Nicolas Maduro. You'll hear something else in the U.S. media almost every day. In almost every article they say, 50 countries recognize Juan Guaido. How many countries did I just say are in the United Nations? I mentioned it. 193. So the majority, those majority of 193 voted and said, Nicolas Maduro is the president. The problem is that the General Assembly doesn't have enforcement power. If you read anything about the UN, the five members of the Security Council have the power, the ultimate enforcement power. They can wage war, they can declare a blockade of a country, and the five countries, where are the five countries of the UN Security Council? The US. Uh, real loud, what? The US. US. France. Who? France. France. No. Russia. Russia. China. China. Britain. Britain. I thought it was France. Yeah, France. It is France. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's France. Sorry. Those five countries. I just want to, it's 12.15 now, and I want to thank uh, Gloria for coming and giving the talk. Um, so why don't we give her a hand? I also want to say I'm, I'm glad that a lot of people from my 2 o'clock class uh, came here for this. And I'm going to extend an invitation for everybody in this class to come to the 2 o'clock class, Radical Social Analysis, upstairs in room 210, because we'll spend a little time discussing this at the beginning of class so we can all get to know each other. Better. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Now, this is a newspaper. You're welcome to please take a copy. It's not the issue about Venezuela, but it's got a lot of good issues here. And if you look at the website, right in the middle, just scroll down a little bit, you'll see my videos. And I'm sorry that I was a little bit late, so I couldn't gather my work together. But I want to thank you all. How many of you feel that you would be opposed to U.S. intervention in Venezuela? Can I can I take a picture? Because yeah. <laughs> can you have, do you have a phone? Anybody got a smartphone? Yes. Yeah. Can we? Well, if just you don't want to be in the picture, you can. You can move stand, aside. You can move aside. Well, would you like to? Who would be? Here we go. 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 Here
Who is opposed to U.S. intervention? 